We're parked up on the side of the road at the moment. Uh, we pretty much just emptied out everything out of the camper and just popped it just so we've got somewhere to sleep and um, just earned myself a beer. Just um, dug a couple of holes to make a fire. Um, it was a little bit breezy and I don't even know if you're supposed to be lighting fires at the moment. Probably not. But um, this would be the safest way for us to light a fire and um, remain unseen pretty much. I've just dug two holes because the ground's so hard <clears throat> it's pretty easy just dug a hole there you can see at the bottom there's a tunnel going through from the other hole so they're linked together a bit hard to see but um yeah so I'll light a fire on on this side later on and heat some dinner up with it and um it'll be something to sit by later on A couple of cool things about um, this method is uh, cooking. So if you just lay a metal rod over the hole, then you can put anything on it, like a billy or fry pan, whatever you're cooking with. The other thing is um, you can fill the hole in pretty quickly with dirt if you need to, or when you're finished for the night. The other thing is it's quite an efficient burn. Like there is bugger all smoke coming off that fire because um, it's just sucking all that air in through the other side so you get quite a you get quite a jet effect you can hear it you can almost see it where the hole comes through it's just just getting a real jet effect on it Um, that's the other thing it gets up to heat really quick but anyway I'm gonna cook a pizza in a minute Yeah, burnt pizza for sure. So, um, so there was probably too much heat in the pan and we burnt the pizza. So, sandwich. Toasted egg and cheese sandwich. How good does that look? Yummo. Bit burn on that side, that's all good. Mmm, so good.
The barbecue sauce makes it really good. Can't do it, eh? <laughs> keep keep practicing. <laughs>